Welcome to our new week and our final week this week before we break up for half term. We are going to be learning about a different country's festival that they celebrate and that some people in England, in our country, they will be celebrating it as well this week. And it's called, have a little look at all the things you can see inside the Curiosity Cube and around the Curiosity Cube. You might want to look at the map. Wow. I have a calendar here and lots of other lovely things. Oh, <laughs> you spotted something on the floor. Ooh. And this celebration, this festival, is something that happens in China and it's called Chinese New Year. Wow, we're going to be learning about Chinese New Year this week. But before we do, I'd like you to have a look at some of the key words that we might come across so that you know what they mean and you can look out for them in my story in a little while. Okay, the first one today is red envelopes. Now red envelopes are the things that the Chinese families give to each other that have money inside, Ooh, coins. So these are red envelopes. My turn, red envelopes. Your turn. Great start. This one is called Chinese writing. Now when the Chinese families write, they use symbols, a bit like we do with our letter sounds. They don't write a book like that. They write symbols to represent their writing, so we call it Chinese writing. Your turn. Great job. Oh, we're lovely and awake today. Well done, everyone. This one's one of my favourite ones. This one is the Chinese dragon. And we're going to do a little bit more about him. Miss Angela's going to show you something a little bit later and showing you how to make your own Chinese dragon. So my turn, dragon, your turn. <laughs> I love these dragon voices today. A very special outfit that our Chinese families wear. And I've got one right here, but this one is blue. This is called a kimono. Isn't it beautiful? It's called, my turn, kimono. Your turn. And it looks a little bit like we would wear a dressing gown. Oh, you do look beautiful. Kimono. Then, oh, these are very tricky to use. And these, I have some right here, look, are called chopsticks. These are called chopsticks. And our Chinese families eat their food with chopsticks, not knives and forks. Wow, isn't that clever? My turn, chopsticks. Your turn. Great job, everyone. And the last thing I want you to look out for in the story today are these and these special things. If you follow me over to our role play Chinese restaurant, you will see some more of them. These are called lanterns. Wow! And a little bit later in the week, we're going to be making some of these. Lanterns. My turn. Lanterns. Your turn. Great job, everybody. Okay. One last go. All the way through. My turn. Your turn. My turn. Your turn. My turn. Your turn. This is how we play. My turn. Red envelopes. Your turn. Super, my turn, Chinese writing, your turn. My turn, dragon, your turn. My turn, kimono, your turn. My turn, chopsticks, your turn. My turn, lanterns, your turn. Great job, everyone. Tune in for my story all about Chinese New Year. Bye.